Hey everyone, Kibby King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the official MyUI ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. You will need to make sure you have Clockwork Mod installed, of course. Uh, but anyways, this ROM is now official, so we have official support. Everything sh should just about be working. The only two bugs at the moment is portable hotspot as well as the video camera. You need to use the lowest setting for video recording to work at the moment, though I'm sure those will be fixed in a later build. But right now, those are the only two bugs, so everything's working, calls, texts, picture messages, etc. Everything should be working. But anyways, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. I do want to give a big shout out to TCP as well as, let me go ahead and go to this link, as well as Dino, Steady Hawken, Hikato, Slash, JT1134, Tizing, Spicy Tuna, Dr. Drew Down, Bubby, Samsung, and Sprint. So big, big shout outs and thanks to all of those guys and anyone else that was included in making this build possible. So. As you can see, go ahead and click on this link in the description, My UI. I don't I believe that's what it's how it's pronounced. No one really knows for sure. I call it My UI cuz my user interface. So that's kind of what I call it. Sometimes I call it Mi UI. I've heard it called MI UI. So whatever you want to call it, feel free to call it that. So there you have it. Presents the official My UI release. Uh, download link is right here where it says proceed to download. Just click on it and download it. The zip file is going to look some similar to this right here. MyUI.us, Epic 4G Touch, zip. Get that zip file either on your internal or external storage on your device. And then once you have the zip file on your internal or external SD card, you're ready to go. You can go back to your device. And what we're going to need to do is go into our custom recovery. So boot into Clockwork Mod, hit uh, recovery on your ROM if uh, you have that option. Otherwise, go ahead and power it on off. Press and hold the volume up and power button at the same time until the first Samsung screen pops up. Let go, and it should boot you into your custom recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and let this reboot me. It should reboot me into my uh, custom recovery. All right, so as you can see, phone rebooted me into my custom recovery, Rogue Recovery, Clockwork Mod 5 based. So to install this ROM, first I'm gonna recommend making an Android backup. So go to Backups and Restore, make a backup. So make sure you have a backup if you haven't made one before. And once it's done backing up, go to the white menu and hit Wipe Data Factory Reset and hit Yes. So it's gonna go ahead and delete all your data. So make sure that you have everything backed up, your contacts, your messages, your apps, etc. And once that's done, hit wipe cache and hit yes, wipe cache. Once that's done, hit wipe Dalvik cache and hit yes. So wipe your data, your cache, your Dalvik cache, hit go back, go to mounts and storage right here, mounts and storage, and then hit format system. So format your system, hit yes. It's going to go ahead and format that, hit go back, and then hit install zip from file. And choose zip from SD card or internal storage, either one, whichever one you put it on. Mine's on my internal. And then go ahead and select that my UI ROM. So my UI.us Epic 4G Touch 2113. And hit yes. So go ahead and install the ROM. Be patient with the install process. It will take a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and let this install and I will be back. All right, and as you can see, install complete. The ROM is done installing. Just hit go back and then reboot system. So it's going to go ahead and reboot your Epic 4G Touch. And once it boots up, you'll be running the official My UI ROM on your device. So I'm going to be doing a separate review video of this ROM. So that's definitely something you're going to want to check out. But I'm going to let you guys check out the boot animation here. So very simple boot animation right there. Nothing too extravagant. You actually can change your boot animation. I'll be going over that in the review. But anyways, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.